dyslexic children, children with central auditory processing disorder, ADHD, ASD, and a whole other host of challenges often can fake you out. They can pretend to read. They can throw up a smoke screen. This is how they get to third grade getting A's and B's, but can't pass the third grade EOG. I'm going to teach you how they're pretending to read, and then I'm going to teach you how to get around that reliance on imagery and pattern so that you can teach them to read. I'm going to show you how kids can fake you out and pretend to read. So here's a primary reader, right? And let's pretend I am a dyslexic, non-reading elementary school kid, which is what I was. And I'm called on to read. I don't know what any of this says, but A. That's it. That's my old friend A. I can read A. But the girl's name has been Dot for a long time. So that's Dot. I'm pretty sure that's Dot. That's Cat. And, and, and so we're using all this complicated, like, calculus, right? Because we're saying if that's dot, then that must, and that's a, and then this must be cat, even though I can't read cat, dot a cat. We're thinking real quick because we don't want to be embarrassed. And then we're thinking, we don't know what that is, but a lot of times it has. So we say dot has a cat and the teacher thinks we're reading. We are not reading. So what these children are doing and what I was doing is using imagery to pretend to read. We use, we pull in, we, we listen, we, we remember the story from yesterday. We, we pull in all this data and then we make the sounds and words you want to hear and you think we're reading. We are not. It's a system and it's a system that protects us and it's a system we built and it's a system you're going to have to tear down so that you can teach them to read. You're going to have to deny them their system. Imagery is a big part of that system. Minimize the imagery. How do you deal with this? De-emphasize images. Go out and get some cardstock. Are you kidding, Keith? That's ridiculous. I'll tell you what is ridiculous, America. Only 33% of our fourth graders can read at grade level. Think about that. And a big part of that is because our schools are still using whole language, three queuing, and a whole bunch of other concepts that don't work to teach reading. Now you took the images away. Oh my gosh, your kid will panic. They're, so a big part of this game with dyslexic kids is you have to take away their smoke screen. You've got to take away their system and make them learn to read. The images are gone. Now you, you don't say, D goes, duh, uh, you have to have the thing in there. Their finger has to come in there. Why? Because you can say, Joey, this is Dot has a cat. And Joey then says, okay, dad, Dot has a cat. You don't know if he's looking at it or reading at it, but if his finger's under it. Now, what's it say, Joey? Uh, I, I don't, I don't know. What's the D make? Duh. What's the O make? Ah. Uh. What's the T make? T. What do you think it is? Dog. No, no. What's the T make? T. What is Dot. Dot, ah, and you look, you phonetically work them through. It's a whole lot easier to use the pictures, isn't it? But it just doesn't work. So you phonetic, and I have parents, well, I don't have a teaching degree. I don't, look, you know what cat does. Cat, teach it. There's no picture. That's the cool part. After he says, Dot has a cat, or she says, Dot has a cat, you say, what do you see? I don't see anything. The picture's covered up. Well, what do you think Dot looks like? Well, the, like like the girl down the street. She, she's like the red-headed girl. Okay. What, what, does the cat, what does the cat look like? Oh, the cat looks like Tiffany. Okay, because their family has a cat named Tiffany. And now, here's what's powerful. Here's what's really powerful, America. The child is creating the image in their head rather than this they're seeing a different image they created. So when a non-reader is presented with just text, they have to come up with the imagery. They were relying on that imagery to, to, make, to make sense. Now they don't have it, and you're going to ask them to make it. And that's going to be real hard for them, especially uh, kids that are on the spectrum, to, to make the picture to go with the words. But if you can sell this to them, it'll change everything because it's pleasurable. That's why you stay up till three in the morning reading a novel. You're sitting there creating the pictures in your mind of what you're reading and your brain likes that feeling. They've never done it. Have them do it with this. What do you see? And they, and they start describing what the words make in their mind. It'll be a battle then they'll get addicted to it and then they'll want to read because they'll want to create the pictures that go with the words. So let's talk about the overuse of images to, uh, to teach reading. So this, this wonderful, actually, waste of paper uh, says circle the pictures that have a short E sound, right? Now, 
bed, okay, and 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 like, you know, like okay, B doesn't. But think about this. There's no words here. There's no words. How do you teach reading with no words? Right? There's no words. So something like this comes home. You know, it's time to call your school board and ask to talk about the science of reading. But what you need to do here, like if something like this comes home, you then convert it, right? Because that's what I'm teaching you, right? You're modifying the materials that come home. You're modifying them away from images and patterns. So you would then say, okay, I see what they're teaching here. You take a, a pen and a piece of paper and you'd write out bed, three, B, leaf, nest, and you'd have a conversation using words and letters to teach words and letters. Call your school board. This is bad. Use phonics, not pictures. Phonics pictures. Phonics good, picture bad. Phonics good, picture bad. Yeah, I'm OCD too. Please subscribe. I've got a lot more coming out. Please just support the channel. Leave me your comments. What do you think about my theories? Are, are you one of these children? Or, you know, of course you're not. Did, did you use images? What Was that what you did? Do you, do you feel like that, agree with me that the whole language and pictures shouldn't be used to teach words? Leave me some comments. Let me know your thoughts about my strategies. Please subscribe. I'm having a lot more come out, and it's targeted towards frustrated parents that have been down every angle and just want their kids to read. What you're doing, I want you to do, is this, not this. I'm going to show you again. This, not this. Because if you show a dyslexic, ASD, whatever kid, this, then this is supposed to make this go guh. And it will. But if you take this away, then we don't know. But if you start with this, no picture, and you emphasize these little squiggly lines that are so hard for us to see, and you say this goes guh, it will probably go guh a lot quicker than if you tried using this to teach this, and then that it just doesn't work for us. You, you got to just de-emphasize imagery and pattern, emphasize phonics and decoding and creativity. If they learn differently, and they do, then you must teach differently or it'll be frustrating for everybody. Please subscribe. Got more coming out.